three years. It has been three years since this game has came out. That is a long time and I remember the day. The very day this game came out is when I camped at the App Store and downloaded it. I have played this game since day one and I still am unhealthily addicted to it. <laughs> three years with copious amounts of losses. But we will not dwell on the past, and we will relish for what the future holds. Three year anniversary weekly event here is lining up to be a spectacular one. Starting with the rares, Gorgonops, Andrew, Ovaruptor, and Comp Signathus Gen 2, I am darting the little copies. I think the flock mechanic is insane at the moment. I'm not going to say it's broken, but it feels like at the moment. Time will tell. And then for Friday, a very interesting event because it's only one day to dart 12 attempts for epics with either Acro, Dakota, Dodo, or Ant. That is going to be insane. A lot of people are going to be outside darting these things. And for this one, I think I'm going to go for Ant or Dodo or a mixture of both. But the introduction of Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous is finally in the game for Friday's Epic Incubator. I am super excited for that one. I still need to watch Season 3, so no spoilers of Camp Cretaceous. Saturday, one attempt for the legendary Pokey, the Sloth Moose, and the Dodo legendary. I think I'm, I'm going to go straight for the Dodo there. And then Sunday, we got the Antelo Lania and Compso Kalas. Okay, I'm going for the comp thing. I think the compies are going to be heavily sought out for in the future. So I am looking forward to all this week. This is going to be a fabulous week for everybody in the game. So happy three year anniversary, everybody. So now, Boost Reshuffle event has led me to this PvP team. Introductions are in order. We're going to start Trico, my lovely, lovely Trico with a 15-15-0 boost set. This, the heavy attack for this monstrosity cannot be underestimated. Man, does it deal damage and take out things very quickly. And then, because of it, Monolo Rhino has 12 health. How much? It's going to have 18 at the end, so 13 attack right now. And then zero speed. It's going to be a heavy, heavy throwing tank, basically. Just charge at the enemy. Gemini I have not fully boosted because I'm not sure if it's going to stay on the remaining team. I haven't boosted enough for raids, which is very very necessary to get these apexes. Thor I put into the team with a 0-15-15 boost set uh, because damage is necessary. Hadros is a very interesting one. I think I have mine set to nine, oh, 7, I forget what I'm going to have the ending health is, but yeah, I have plenty of health boost, so no worry there. Uh, attack and 118, to like 120 speed I found to be actually really, really good, so it's faster than most of the long necks. And then the Priceless Mortem Rex. I have it set to, well, it's going to be 0 15, 15 also. The speed on Mortem makes it a monstrous starting creature. And with that much attack also, I think it'll end with, with like 3300 attack and 138 speed. But it's the same health as Thor. Going to be a beauty to see him wreck everybody. Now, Sarah, I'm going to have mine set to a 10, 20, 0. Uh, boost set. Man, this thing is fun to play with and quite deadly. And then Magnet, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to keep it forever, but I just boosted its speed enough to counter Thor's. But that is my team so far. I have plenty of health and speed boosts remaining, so I may start boosting my tournament creatures, which I'm so happy for because I finally have a Boa at 26 and Andrew at 25. Draco Rex 25, Marsupial Lion 24, and T Rex 27. I am very excited for tournaments now. And by the way, the Alliance is recruiting. So if you would like to join, 
if you would like to inquire, there is a link in the description below to join the value server. And we have, along with my team, we have 21 other teams that we are excited about. So go ahead and check us out. But now, okay, oh, we got an incubator open. Let's go ahead and do that. Da -da -da, we got all kinds. I'm gonna be boosting, or I'm gonna be evolving Oranithiomimus too. Let's have some fun. Let's join the PvP massacre because the trophy system I am not a huge fan of right now. The new one, ugh. Not a fan of it, but what shall we run into today? Ooh, oh, this is it. The not boosting Magna is gonna hurt me this round. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So, Hadros. Oh, that's a good matchup so far. And what is your stats? Holy cannoli. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt quite a bit. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. So let's do as much damage as possible. Just push in the volume up here. There we go. And skadoosh. So my, oh, my rampage will actually do damage, but I think they're gonna swap here. Ah, oh, they're gonna swap. And I, F, Hadros dies, I have nothing else, so I'm going to anticipate this. I am going to swip, swap to Sarah Magnus. Hope for a crit here with 20%. I knew it. Swap into your own Sarah, who's stronger. You have more health and more damage. Okay. So what I'm going to do now... I'm going to do Precise Rampage, as is he. So I have to, be, I have to get the button faster on... Can I get the button faster? <laughs> I was first! Yay! <laughs> okay, so one down, and I can swap out here unless he throws out Gripolith, which I think is going to be more of a staple in the PvP arena because it is a good counter to Hadros, Sarah, and the Long Necks. Hello, our Lego Specs, we meet again. I am faster, so what do you plan on swapping into? I think you're going to swap into Monolo Rhino. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. I'm gonna go ahead and do precise rampage just in case. Oh. Well, why would you? Okay, I see what you did there. I should have went for a resilient strike, actually. Uh. Hmm. I don't think I should swap. Yeah, I'll swap in. Get some heavy damage here. I'll take one hit since it won't stun. So Milo Rhino is gonna have. A lot of help taken out of it. But I know his Sarah is gone. It's a good thing. Oof! Okay. So, I am going to attack. That's not a rampage, so it shouldn't kill me, right? Because it does like 1.5 total. Yes! There we go. So, two down. And I have three creatures with very low health here. So, let's see what happens. This is why I saved uh, my magnet. Okay, well, that is a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. That's gonna hurt. I'm not sure if magnet can sustain this. Uh, because magnet only has like 1700 attack. I think I might have lost this one. I don't think there's anything else to swap into, or else he probably would have already. Eek. Oh, he's gonna do the instant charge, and that's gonna. If he gets a crit, I did. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna swap. He's gonna hope for the crit. He's at 40%. He didn't get it! Oh, we win by luck! <laughs> Fantastic job. Whew. See, I found Magnus to still be super effective if it's fast and it doesn't need to have the super high attack and help, it's super helpful, but uh, I don't think it's very necessary to utilize magma in your team. But that's all the time I got for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click on that subscribe button so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you next time. Bye!